This video is to show you who the true Hebrews or Jews are, or Yehudim. The people in Israel right now are not Jews. They're Khazars. Your true Druze or your true Yehudim are the so-called black person or African American as you like to call them sometimes. Um, they're not African at all. They're the true Jews. They're the true Hebrews that were brought over here on ships which the scriptures mention. The true nationality of the so-called black people is uh, Israelite or Hebrew Israelites and they're a nation of people who descended from uh, Jacob who was later named Israel who had 12 sons who became the 12 tribes who multiplied into the uncountable number of Israelites that, it, that are as the sea, sands of the seas today. Can't count them, there's so many. Um, yes, they are Hebrew Israelites. And uh, that's not a religion, that's not a cult, it's, it's, it's strictly a nationality bloodline of people. And uh, it's, it's that simple. They're a bloodline, and you cannot convert into being an Israelite. You can't, you know, change to be an Israelite. You know, you are what your father was, what your forefathers are. Whitewashing is in everything. The media, education, history is whitewashed and biased. Education is whitewashed and biased. The true Jews, according to the Bible, you can check it in the Bible. You can read Job 30, 30 and some other places. They have never been white they have been people of color and they have not stopped in Ethiopia they were in West in Ethiopia Sudan and they have settled in West Africa from West Africa they have been taken as a slaves to America brothers and sisters blacks of America it's you you are the true Hebrews you are the true Hebrews from the Bible America gonna be, do everything gonna invest as much money as it has uh, gonna fight as much wars as they as they can gonna invite as much weapons as they can just to hide this away from you gonna take Israel gonna bring white people here and to tell you these are the Jews gonna do gonna kill you gonna kill Arabs gonna mistreat white people like this guy just to tell you this lie that, that you are nobody and we are the Jews with all the history and so on it has been deleted your history. You don't know who you are. Don't forget about it. This is why America has been taking your history away. Never to find out that it's all about you. I'm telling you this. Please, I don't know. I don't ask you to come to Israel and to start a revolution. I'm just try asking you to start thinking this way, to believe me a little bit, because I'm living in Israel and I'm part of this uh, injustice. I really believe that people like me and you. We can, we can bring the justice back. Uh, no matter what you're presented with, you still want to dispute this and maintain your superior, pompous, arrogant attitudes. And um, it makes me sick. I come across these so-called biblically-based websites and listed for the 12 tribes of Israel are all European countries. What is wrong with you people? You should be ashamed of yourselves. After everything these people have been through at the hand of the white man, slaughtered, ran off their land, sold into bondage, had their heritage stolen from them, would it kill you? Would it kill you to acknowledge the fact that these could be God's chosen elect? Well, evidently so. And unfortunately, in the words of King Solomon, there's nothing new under the sun. Enough, I want to make sure and reiterate this, that I'm not a racist person. Uh, nor am I a person that hates certain individuals. I love all of humanity. I want to see all of humanity making a new kingdom. But nevertheless, there is true Hebrews. There is a true people of the Most High that is scattered throughout the nations of the earth this day. It is not whom that many people believe they are, such as the so-called Jews in the nation state of Israel that we so see before us right now. I would interject that the true biblical Hebrews are the so-called African-American people that are scattered abroad throughout the world. Oh, and you can do your due diligence and research these things out to see if they be so. If after you do this research, which I, I don't expect you to take anything that I'm telling you, I, 
you know, look it up for yourself. Do the research. That's what I did. Anytime I was shown a scripture, shown something in a book, I'd look it up myself. And do the same thing. And if at the end of that you still can't see it, then I really don't know what else to say. But I, I want the black Hebrew Israelites, I, I'm trying to help to get them woke up and to see the rich heritage that they really have. The Hebrews, the Israelites, are people of color. All right? Now, this teaching offends Khazars. Uh, this teaching offends uh, Europeans in general. But it's timely. And um, I, I repeat this over and over and over again, but it's timely and it needs to be discussed and it needs to be talked about. All right? The Egyptians who are living in Egypt now are not, are not uh, who was living there back when uh, the Bible was being compiled. Okay? Those people have been pushed into the Sudan. Okay? You're going to pick up on this real fast, okay? Acts 13.1. Listen to what Simeon was called in Acts 13.1, okay? Acts 13 and 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene, and Manan, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. Simeon was called Niger, N-I-G-E-R. And that word, my friend, is a Latin word meaning black. And it was referring to people's skin color. Okay? And Niger just happens to be where the, that foul word comes from if you add a G onto it. And that is what the whole planet calls Hebrews to this very day. Niger. And the other, the, 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 the main reason this is so important today is because you have all these Christians and all these people on the earth that think they're following the Bible pointing to a specific people group over in Israel today and they are totally missing the real Israel. Okay, they've identified Israel and they and, and well excuse me, they, they they haven't correctly identified Israel and it is leading to all kinds of chaos on the earth. Okay. Most people are looking at who is over there in this land today and they are calling them Israel. I mean I'm talking about big name preachers, I'm talking about you know, run-of-the-mill preachers in small congregations, 99% of them who have a church front, who have a building, excuse me, are calling Khazars Hebrews. And they are completely misfiring. So that's why it's important. Okay? The other reason it's important is because it's just the truth. We should be a people who speak the truth no matter what. Hi, Shalom, Shalom from Israel. This is Ola, the daughter of Jethro. And I just heard that you black people that was stolen from Africa to America, that you don't know who you are. But you are the children of, of Yahweh, the children of Israel. And I'm telling you, you have to come back to your homeland, here to Zion, to Jerusalem, because us, the Gentiles, we do need you. We need you to come and pray because you are our saviors. You the one that was chosen by Yahweh to live in this land, not the Jewish people, it's you. You were stolen from Africa, they deceived you, they told you that you are slaves, but you actually the children of Israel. And it's time just to come, come back. Come for, for your people, come back for us, come back for the whole Gentiles because only you. Only you gonna save us. So please. I had to let the Europeans tell you what they just told you. Because if I'd have told you that, you wouldn't believe it. So since the Europeans told you, then maybe you might believe that. 
And then after it really settles in and you understand who you are, all you Negroes, Blacks, Colors, African Americans, or whatever you call yourself, then the script right here might mean something, which is in Second Chronicles. This is verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Their wicked ways is seeking after everybody else's God but their own. That's the wicked ways that the God of the Bible is talking about. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Right now, this land is in major need of healing, and it will not be healed until Israel turn from their wicked ways and quit going after everybody else's God, like Jesus, for example. Take this for what it's worth. Peace.